everyone and welcome to another video of my channel and in this video we are going to make some rhubarb pie and what you'll need is some flour, some sugar, some rhubarb, one tablespoon of melted butter, and then two pie crusts. And then we need one and a half a cups of white sugar. All right, and it should look something like that. And with measuring stuff out, you want it to be as level as possible so then it can be as accurate as you can get it. And then we need six tablespoons of flour. Yes. All right, and then we are going to mix that together. And then with mixing stuff up, you want to get it as mixed up as good as you can get it, so that you can be as accurate as you can get it. Alright, it should look something like that, and then we're going to add the one tablespoon of melted butter. After that, it should look something like this. And then we are going to add four cups of fruit bar. And then we're going to mix that together. And then with the rhubarb, you want it to be chopped up before you mix it into the items for the pie. Alright, and after that, it should look something like this. And if it's a little liquidy, then that's okay. And then let's move on to the next step. All right, and then we're going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, and then like with a pie crust, it's like you want to like spray like the pie plate with the spray stuff. And then you put the, uh, the dough in there. And then, and like, if you guys are wondering why this is already in here, it's because I had to make like a video demonstrating how to make a homemade um, pie crust. And then so I like put 
flour in there too, and then I sprayed the pan, and then I um, put the pie crust in there. All right, and then, and then with this stuff, we are going to put this rhubarb mixture into here. And then, we are going to flatten it out. And if there are some air bubbles, then that's okay. Right. And then we're going to take the other pipe crust and we're going to put it on top of here. Some of it broke on me. Okay. Oh. Then I'm gonna have to try and do it this way. This. If the crust breaks on you, then that's all right. Oh. All right. All right. And then after the pie crust is on there, it should look something like this. And then, if you want, you can take a knife and and put some holes in here, or you can also do it with a fork too. And after that is all done, you bake the pie in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. The pie is in the oven, it should look something like this. <laughs> 